I wasn't actually planning on starting the video yet, but I can already get one task done, which is thieving from this gem stall for 100 points. Hopefully this guard doesn't jump me. Can I? Oh my... Really? Bro. Okay, wait. Give me a sec. And there we go. That is thieving from the gem stall. We managed to trap the guard, and that is 100 points right there. Anyway, guys, welcome to day three of the Trailblazer League. We are 90 tasks away from our final region and 1,000 points away from our tier five relic. Today, we're going to speed through our final task in an attempt to unlock both. Let's get into it. I just got myself a diamond. That's another 100 points at Dargish Khan. Very, very nice. We are now 760 points until the next relic. Just pickpocketed a hero. 100 points right there. Very, very nice. We now need, what, 660? Okay, that's 100 sharks caught, which gives us another 100 points. I'm just going to catch a couple more because another task is actually to cook 100 sharks, which also gives me 100 points. This guy rolling beard just told me to wash my chair. I'm personally never going to do that until the league is over, but I just got 100 points for cooking 100 sharks. Let's go. Another quick task I just simply forgot to do. Entering the fishing guild is another 50 points right there. And that is another 50 points for dismantling 20 birdhouses. Very, very nice. We're getting there 360 away from the next relic. Okay, and that is another 50 points just by trapping a spined lar larapuya. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it in this uh, little pit thing. Very nice. Okay, and this is another 50 points just by wearing this armor set of the larapuya, I think. Um, we are now 260 points away from our next relic. All right, equip a myth set. Don't know how I've done, haven't done that yet. Only 10 points though, 250 until the next relic. Okay, and that's another 50 points of ruby amulet created right there. Okay, surprisingly enough, I haven't done this yet, but casting a high-level alchemy, I'm not even 55 mage, is 50 points, so I'm boosting to do it, and this will be another 50 points for us. Very, very nice. Okay, fire battle staff, that is another 50 points if I wield it. There we go, and now we are 100 off the new relic. So I actually did end up going to do some AFK fishing after all that because I was pretty tired and I didn't really feel like doing anything else. Um, once I hit level 95, it actually did unlock a new relic for me because it does give me 250 points to reach level 95. When I hit level 99, which is actually only 150k XP away, that's another 250 points. But I've already unlocked my tier 5 relic. I don't need to be cashing out points just yet. So I'm going to save that for now. I'm going to save that 150k because we don't really need to use it yet. But I am going to unlock my tier 5 relic, the botanist. Now you may be wondering why I'm choosing this over the other two relics. And it is very simple. Look at the relic effect. Farming cycles occur every one minute instead of every five minutes. So every crop I grow is five times faster. All my herbs are going to be five times faster. The resources I gather are multiplied by two. So instead of like 10 runners, I could be getting 20. Mixing potions always result in a four dose potion. You guys know you'd usually get three dose potions. So that just saves me like loads of, I don't know, supplies in the, in the long run. And I have a 95% chance of saving my secondary agreement, which is great. Now, possibly one of the biggest things is that my stats boosted above my base level will no longer drain back over time. So let's say I drink a super combat and I go do a boss like Cerberus and I never brew down. I will be 118 strength for the whole time because my boost never leaves me. It's amazing. And the passive effect is items from some sources will be 3x as common, which is pretty cool too. Anyway, we're picking up. All right, that is 65 fletching, which means I should be able to make a U short bow if I am not mistaken. I don't know if that's a task, but I know that equipping one is. Right now, we don't care about points anymore. We just want to get that 78 task numbers to zero so that we can unlock our final area. So we'll be doing all kinds of tasks, whether they're easy or hard. And that is crafting 100 unpowered orbs done, and that's another task completed. It gives me 50 points, but like I said, we don't really care about those right now. Okay, that's completing the easy Varric Diary for another 10 points and another task, and I'm just going to go get the XP lamp from it. And that is the Lumbridge and Drainer Diary completed, and we're going to get some more XP from that as well. We used our last one on Herb Lore, which got us to 50 Herb. Okay, and this should be some more Herb Lore XP getting us to 52 Herb Lore. Killing this group of individuals on this Tortoise should be another task. Oh, what? Okay, yeah, it is. And I got Nature Instruments, so that's another task done. That's another 50 points for building a U-House, very, very nice. Okay, I just caught a Swamp Lizard and I caught a Red Salamander by catching a Red Salamander, so that's 100 points from there, and it's also part of my diary. Okay, and that is one part of Recipe for Disaster done, and that actually gets me to- Oh, what? 29 farming! Are you trolling? Okay, well that got me 10 points for reaching level 20, reaching base level 20, and in literally 95 more farming XP, I will reach base level 30. Okay, and that is 30 farming, which gives us base level 30s, which is another 50 points. We are now 68 tasks away from our next area. 
Let's go. Easy task. Completing the Candor and Diary, another task right there, and it also means we get some more XP lamps to put on Herblore. 55 Herblore, nice. I think we can stop putting lamps on that for now. Alright, so if I move my house to Taverly, that is one task done right there. And if I move my house from Taverly to Yanel, which is 25k, a little bit expensive, is another task right there. So two tasks just done like that, and that was 50 points as well. Got all the way to 75 mining, but I finally got my 20th gold nugget, which is another task. And that is another task done. Mine 50 adamant ore, very, very nice. Okay, and that is harvest any herb at the troll stronghold. Just getting myself some guams, but that is another task completed. Okay, and that's craft the leather body done, which means I am now 59 tasks away until my next area. Cleaning a grimy avento is 50 points right there. I just reached 1500 total by smithing, didn't even know it, but that's 100 points right there. Very, very nice. Okay, and that is a mithril grapple, another task completed, and 50 points earned. Okay, and that is another quest done, Chompy Bird quest done, gonna get me some levels, I think 43 range, and apparently there's some glitch going on with the Chompy toss, so they've just decided to give everyone the points for it, I'm not exactly sure how it works. I think I just have to talk to him, and say, can I have a hat please? Okay, and I think because I apparently have a thousand and one Chompy kills, because that's what Jagus have decided to do because of the glitches with the points, I should be getting loads of these little whatever these things are. Oh my god, how many are there, bro? Okay, and I think if I just equip all of these, I should get some points. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Yep, that's some point. Is that three toss done? Yep, that's three toss done. I guess they gave everyone a thousand chompy kills because there was some glitch, and they decided to make it fair for everyone. So that's fine. I'm good with that. I'm not going to complain, so we're now 53 tasks away from the next area. Nature talisman, let's go. Let's go, Cosmic Talisman as well. Okay, and this should be crafting 50 Cosmic Runes, which is another task, 50 points, and it's another task off the list. Next up is Nature Runes, but I need to go train my Runecrafting more. 40 Runecrafting, that is reaching base level 40, which is another task completed and another 50 points. Another task and another 50 points by making 50 Nats. I'm just going to keep going in Nats until I get around 50 Runecrafting anyway, but yeah, another task done. And shout out to this guy, Invoked Adam, for saying I have great content, TY bro. Okay, this should be a task right here. Yep, harvest and iron leaf. Very, very nice. And we're just going to get the rest of them. This double herbs thing is awesome. So I have to kill 30 black dragons for a task here. And look at my elite strat. I'm going to use my Kandarin monastery thing after every time I run out of prayer, basically. Because these things hit, like, hard as fuck. Also, I'm potted up right now. And this pot lasts forever because of the botanist relic, which is OP. Anyway, I come in here, get my prayer. And all I have to do is hit that. I'm right back at black dragons. Barely lose any time, and I can go into another kill very quickly. And then Asgarnia done. I guess I'm going to kill this. Actually, no, nah, we're getting out of here. But that is 30 Black Dragons in Asgarnia done. Took a while, but with our method, it actually went pretty okay. And I'm happy with what we did. Okay, and it's time to unlock some more tasks. Casting a wave spell is 50 points, if I'm not... Oh, 100 points. Okay, awesome. And that's another task completed. Now, if I drink this Asgarnian Ale... I brought... I got the wrong ale. I need a Wizard's Mind Bomb. Um, be right back. All right, let's try that one again. So, because I've got myself a Wizard's Mind Bomb, I can actually pull up to 67 Mage. Now, this never goes down, just like my other uh, boost because of Botanist. That went down, I guess, because I drank that beer. Another 50 points for just entering the Wizard's Guild. Now, I need to trade one of these people. I don't know which one. I think it's this guy? Yep, buy Mystic Shoes. Put on Mystic Shoes. And that is another task done. So, I just got a bunch of tasks done just like that. We are now, what, 45 away from our next area. Okay, we got 50 points from doing the Barb Outpost Agility, and I just bought myself this Villager set for some more trading sticks, and if I'm not mistaken, that is another task on a medium task, 50 points, nice. Okay, and I have just gotten myself 50 farming, which means I am now base level 50s, which is another task completed, putting my total level at 50 and 58 as well. Demon Slayer task completed. Probably should have got this done a lot earlier, but I do love procrastinating the, t uh, the quests. Okay, reward cost, get easy. This is going to be a task. I'm hoping for something good. Ah, uh, nothing really, but... Actually, what's that? It's a Willow short bow, never mind. But that's another task done. Okay, beginner clue casket here, which will be another point. And we got a wizard hat, not very useful, but that's another task done. Okay, let's check what this casket has for us. Sardines. Alright, it's time to do the Obor kill. I've only ever done this with Ranger Mage. I don't know how this is going to go, to be honest. But I'm thinking my D-Skim should just destroy him to the point where I don't even need to do anything. And it seems to be that way. I'm pretty much getting the AFK kill. Dead. Okay, please give me the Hill Giant Club. Please. Damn it. Okay, but I gotta go bring in this call. I get that's alright, but defeat Obor is another task. Okay, another casket. Cabbages? Yeah, but this is convenient because it's right next to the task place as well. Oh, I just got a mossy key. Nice. No way. I forgot an axe, bro. 
I don't, there's literally nothing I can do, right? Oh, take X. Wow, thank god I stayed. I was almost about to panic tell you, not gonna lie. Okay, despite us forgetting an axe, we could actually just get an axe right from the east there, and we- Oh, room plate legs as well, nice! And a beginner clue scroll, and we got another mossy key! Let's go! Awesome. Alright, another moss giant boss KC, how much are we getting from that? Uh, uncut diamonds and uncut rubies, we take those. And that is Tai Buono Trio done, which unlocks two tasks for me in the forms of Karam ones. Okay, and that is catching 100 Karam ones done, and I'm about to get 99 fishing as well. That's two tasks done and like 350 points I just got. I'm going to keep fishing though because I need to cook 100 of them too, but those are two great tasks to get out of the way. 35 tasks until the next area. Okay, and that is another task completed, cook 100 Karam ones. Okay, that is the observatory quest done, which is another task completed. Very, very nice. Equip a green, full green dragon hide set, another 50 points. So just like with the black dragons, when I run out of prayer here, rune full home drop, nice. I can just teleport back to the Kandarin Monastery, get my prayer back up, and teleport right back using this, basically, hack crystal. It is so nice. Let's go, a rune knight crossbow unstring drop. That is exactly what we needed. Rune crossbow is such a big unlock for us, and we can actually fletch that pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and that is make 30 prayer potions, another 50 points. 31 tasks now until I can unlock my next area. Okay, and it's time to attempt the Mythal Dragon. Okay, a three-minute Mythal Dragon kill. That's how we do it. Um, another task completed. 30 more tasks until the next area. Here are my stats ending off this video. 72 hours into the game mode, and we're 30 points away from our final region unlock, Mauritania. While it might seem like I'm behind right now, it's simply because of my tier one relic choice, which was Endless Harvest, via the majority of people's decision to pick Skill and Prodigy. I was fully prepared for this, as for the first week, their relic would help them get mu get points much more quicker. But tomorrow, with 30 more tasks, I unlock Mauritania and get access to thousands of task points, and as the game mode progresses, I'll start overtaking these people. Feel free to quote me on this. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe because tomorrow's video is going to be full of content as I unlock my final region and get through the Mauritania tasks. And as always, feel free to leave a like as it goes a long way to support my channel, and I will see you guys later.